This is a recycling lab. A machine shreds home appliances into tiny fragments. The scrap includes electronic waste containing up to 60 different chemical substances. Among them, coveted rare earth elements used in making computer chips. The scientists at Saxony's Freiberg University of Mining and Technology want to recover the metals from the waste and transform them back into pure substances. That's being done successfully for a number of raw materials. If we look at the laboratory scale, I'd say we can do it for 40 substances. On an industrial scale, always under the condition that it has to be economical by today's standards, it would be about seven, maybe eight. Used up lithium ion batteries make the researchers' eyes light up. The storage battery's electrodes are coated with a black layer containing the element lithium. Today, many storage batteries end up in the garbage. But the Freiberg scientists say that's a waste of valuable resources. They're convinced that worldwide demand for lithium-ion batteries will rise in the upcoming years. The advantages of these tiny electrochemical cells is their high energy density. For many years we've been producing large quantities of lithium storage batteries and we still don't have a proper recycling process for them, except for recovering certain metal ingredients such as cobalt. But the lithium gets completely lost. Now that may be about to change. The Freiberg team has found a process to chemically separate the lithium from the electronic waste. Only the metal parts of the batteries remain. And lithium carbonate, a valuable commodity. Now with the city sanitation department, the recycling researchers have found another, more unusual source of raw materials. It's a substance that gets delivered every day for free, road dust. The street soot contains copper from car brake linings and platinum from catalytic converters. The researchers have had their eye on street sweeping since the 1990s. But back then it wasn't economical to purify the substances in the refuse. Now they're looking for a method to recover the metals from the dust. Purifying platinum in particular could prove to be profitable. The element is used to make jet engines and exhaust catalysts and in oil refining. The greatest problem is that the precious metal is present in only very low concentrations. So lots of road dust would have to go through the recovery process to make the yield worthwhile. Nonetheless, scientists at many institutions around the world are now hunting for a cost-efficient process. After all, road dust is found everywhere. We believe that since catalytic converters have been in use in Germany, we've blown onto our roads hundreds of kilograms of platinum group metals, as they're called collectively, mainly platinum and palladium. So it would make sense to recover it. Given the rising demand and high prices for the precious metals, the researchers estimate that their recovery in Germany alone could be worth tens of millions of euros street sweeping could become a very lucrative enterprise.